In this learning activity, we're going to focus on the conceptual database model. And so we need to be able to identify the entities and the relationships. So an entity is a collection of data that represents some world, real world um, object. So something that we need to represent in the system. It, it collects data together that is, has meaning together. And, and these really will represent individual tables. So when you think about databases, each individual ta table represents an entity. So we need to de identify those entities and then to understand how they're related to each other. So here I've got a scenario that we're going to work with today and that's the student U, which is a database system that keeps track of student registrations and including courses, sections, instructors, and student information. And here's, so we need to be able to go through this kind of a description and be able to point, pull out what things are entities. And it will help us to think about, to know that, all, you know, we're, later we're going to be also be concerned with attributes and, um, keys and constraints and so all that information is in here and so some of the information won't apply now but will apply later and so as we read through this we see that student U has a user system administrator instructors or students and these users have unique ID IDs and um, can do certain things so right now we think so let's talk about in this first paragraph, can we see anything that might be an entity? So, so yeah, we um, so we think of users. We can imagine that they are a collection of data. Like we have, you know, several things we're going to know about a user in this first paragraph. It tells us about a specific type of ID that's going to be associated with them. But we can also think of other things that might be coming up that are related to a user. In fact, if we scan down here, it says for each user we maintain several descriptive values, first and last name, a password, and one or more phone numbers. So we can see, okay, this is very, this is going to be an entity. And then we see that here's some more specific versions of users. So one might be a system administrator, one might be an instructor. So these are entities as well, um, but they're specific cases of users. And then what about a unique ID? Is that going to be an entity? So a unique unique ID is an atomic value. So rather than a collection of values, it's a single value. So it will fit better as an attribute. So that's something we're not going to address in this particular model. And so even the description of it. Now what about these things that think people can do? So this is just giving us really an over kind of an overview of the, what administrators can do and students can do. And, and let's see if we can pull from them any things that might be important. So managers are going to be able to have authority to modify the database. A student can register for a section, unregister from a section, and see a variety of information. So we can see that there's going to be some relationships here. The student and a section are going to be related. Uh, and we also start to see that maybe section is going to be, we already know that students can have a collection of data and we wonder will a section have um, something. So if we're going to have a relationship between a student and a section, then a section might be a candidate for an, um, an entity because we can do that. I'm only going to highlight it one time, even though the word's repeated multiple times. And a variety of information is more likely going to be uh, attributes. And here an instructor can add a student to a section, publish grades. All right, so here we see grades as an idea. Now, uh, grades, you know, when you think about grades, uh, a grade is an A, a B, or a C, so those are the values of them. Is there more information about grades? Or is a grade an attribute? So at this point, I'm not really sure. I'm just going to make a note that I want to come back and consider whether grades is an attribute or not, or whether it's going to be an entity. And again, variety of information will be those uh, attributes. All right, the next section talks about users and 
and some of the attributes that they're going to have. Students, uh, we also keep track of their major and GPA and class rank. So here it's talking about the attributes that we're going to have and, and specifically here's a these are calculated values. Uh, and for instructors, it talks about that. So we already have these entities, the user, the student, the instructors, and it's really giving us more information about the attributes. And now we have a course. Each course has a department code, and um, it has a course number and a title and a description. So here we see another candidate for an, at, for an entity, because here it is, this course has this variety of data that goes with it. So here we have another entity that we haven't seen yet. We've already identified that a section is an entity and this tells us more about the sections. So you can be several of them and and some of the attributes that it's going to have. Here we have a student registers they must register for, for a specific section in a course. Now we know that a section and course are entities and um, and what does this register, a student registers for a course? Is that going to be an entity or is that going to be a relationship between a section and a course? Let's go ahead and make a note of that over here as well. So we can kind of keep in mind whether we want that to be an entity or an attribute or a relationship. Uh, students, instructors can add or remove, add but not remove. Students can remove themselves. And then here we see more information about a grade. So this may help us decide. A grade is related to a specific student and a specific section. So here again we have this concept of mm, this relationship between students and sections. And the grade is related to that. And so this may in fact be um, an attribute of a relationship. So let's keep Let's keep this in mind is still something we want to continue to think of. And then we can change grades. All right, so now we're to the bottom and we have identified several um, entities and a couple that we're going to think about.